All right, welcome back. So we've got our board all laid out, and we're gonna get rid of that crack by cutting that off. Cut, cut, drill across the top, and be done. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, we first thing we have to do is get our marking knife and our combo square. And I'm taking everything off of the top because that's where I want <clears throat> that's what I want to be flush. So we'll go right up to that right up to the uh, line that we marked. That way we have a little bit to plane if we need to. This is that part where I really hate not having because I want to press this way, but it pulls it to me. But it's such a pain. Let me uh, let me do something. Grab a piece of wood. Check it up in this vise. Get kind of creative a little bit. we go <laughs> much better all right so <clears throat> let's move it over to the line and go light really light just to score it a little bit heavier Unfortunately, I have to go the other way, so lower this down. And it's so nice because not everything's not critical here anymore critical as it was for the actual bench build. So, if we're off by a hair, that's not the end of the world. Nothing that a little sandpaper is not going to cover up. See, I can go very deep right there at the end. Well, let's just go from this end and see how we see how we lined up. And lines up perfect. That's nice. So I didn't really do this the way I normally do with the whole face and the face edge and everything like that, so <clears throat> I didn't mark it anyway. But I knew which ones, I knew which sides I wanted to use, so. So now we just kind of butt it up into this little, I got a little couple clamps set up right here. And they're mounted to the, to the top, good and sturdy, so I'm just going up against that. And well, you see, I've got this little thing mounted in the vise. Probably go more like that. Let's just set it up like that. And 
Now I have something that I can work against, right? And this is my waste wood, so that's the side I'll chisel on. Again, be careful not to go crazy here and start chiseling into wood you don't want to. Don't go past your knife edge. And we're going to do this all the way around. Yeah, it went off a little bit. That's okay. And chop very well right there. That's why. That's okay. So I'm just cleaning it up a little bit better. I don't know why, but that really bothers me for some reason. I'm going to do my best. Let's do. Let's go ahead and stop letting it bother us. So we'll just move on, get a little progress on this guy. <clears throat> And I'm going I'm putting too much of a ledge on there, really. This is about perfect right here. And that came out pretty good. It works much better when you don't do a, a really big little chisel out here because you can see, you know more crisply where your chisel end is and how close it is to your mark, your gate, your uh, mark line that you, your knife wall that you made. Good enough. Up to this last, this last little guy. Clean everything up. 
and then we'll go ahead and chisel. Go ahead and I'm not gonna. Don't need to really chisel out too much here. Um, we're just gonna mark it and cut the knife wall, and that'll be good for this inside. I just want this to be really nice and clean. So we'll get this guy, and we could make this one. Really doesn't matter. We can make it real tight, but I'm gonna make it a smidge loose. Almost made a boo-boo. Let it go off the top. Pretty straightforward, but you know, if you have any questions, if you're building a bench or you're just like, what the hell is he doing? Leave me a comment down below. Hit the sub. I don't know why I did that. Hit the subscribe button. If you're digging what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. I'm helping you in any way let me know sharing ideas on a forum like this is great I've learned so much from from uh, all the other people on YouTube uh, just from the comment sections alone <clears throat> all right so we need to don't really need to, but I'm going. I'm going to. You won't even see it, but we'll go ahead and transfer these lines across and get the other side as well. Put a chisel on this side but not on the rest of it <clears throat> just so I can rest my give my saw something to rest in when I go to cut This is the top, so I gotta go off of that. And I almost Need to mark this guy. Mm. 
And since I'm not really chiseling this away, I'll just do it with a pencil. I'm going to slide. So that should be enough there. Mm. There we go. in the lines and all we're doing is slicing those fibers so that we don't have tear out. Marked it. Same. Got a little too too rambunctious, but it'll, it'll be covered by the jaw. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> so let's chisel this one little edge on the inside again it's just somewhere for the saw to sit a little ledge help that saw get started out the old jaw horse because right now clamping in this vise and being able to, to saw from it it's a little bit trickier than you might think <clears throat> so we'll just do all of our sawing over here out the trusty cross cut <clears throat> so I can get this end cut off so it all looks right <clears throat> so 
just wasn't sitting in there nicely enough. All right, we're in business now. All starting good. So once I get started here, well, I guess it might help if you could see it. Huh? It's a good time for a coffee break. So. <clears throat> Once I get started up like this on this other corner back here, then I'll start to drop down and I'll come to this side. And I'm watching the line, making sure I'm good. I'll go across. And then I'll come to the other side. Boards this thin aren't that critical, but it, it'll help. <clears throat> Less planing, that's what I uh, attribute, and why I do it. down probably I don't know a half inch to an inch on either side then I switch over but if you take your take your time on this spot Uh, it pays off. You don't have to. You don't have quite so much planing you have to do. Oh, and well, that's always good on the end grain. Very frustrating sometimes. And my lighting here sucks, but.
Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but so what? And I'm getting a little bit off my line here too. So I'm a little bit of planing. But I can't really move because of the, the way this I've got it set up. So I've just kind of accepted the fact that I'm going to plane a little bit. But it's going in the right direction. It's, I have to plane something off instead of having to figure out how I'm going to... <clears throat> and this block is wanting to come in on me. Pinch my blade. That's the great thing about sawing by hand, you can hear it when the cut comes to an end. Just like that. So I didn't have a good hold on it, but there you go. It's pretty straight. A little bit of planing to do. But since we're already here, might as well go ahead and get these guys. <clears throat> I don't need this gigantic saw for that, though. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get all the way down with this guy. Well, I like to use back saws when I can. The only reason I put this back on is these freaking saws are expensive, that's why. So until I can build a tool cabinet where it'll stay protected, they go into that. Uh, This guy needs to be sharpened, but there's a little uh, little yeah, distant panel saw. Well, I cannot get a break with the lighting. Yeah, I really do need to sharpen the saw. It's funny because it just feels so light in my hand. I don't use a panel saw nearly as much as I probably should.
Now it's just a matter of matching them up. And I didn't think about it, but <clears throat> I was going to do the uh, the round over with the drill, but <laughs> well, it's kind of uh, I should have done that first before I cut, but it wasn't a big deal, and <clears throat> now it'll match the other one, so all's well. And what I was getting at is I don't really care about it. I didn't mark it and chisel uh, the sides of this because I really it's going to be behind the vice jaw and underneath it anyway. So you're not really going to. And I'm going to be rounding that off, so it's it's not enough tear out to even really speak of. So this is a pretty fine, a pretty fine uh, cross cut. <clears throat> I don't know if this one even says how many teeth per inch or points per inch. But let's count. Eleven points per inch. So yeah, that's pretty fine for a <clears throat> cross cut panel saw like this. Let's go ahead and flip this. Although this saw is a little dull, it's a whole lot easier to work with because it's so light and nimble compared to a full size a full size saw. It's just so light and so it has characteristics that are very desirable. Plus they fit anywhere. Somebody asked me today at work <laughs> if I owned a table saw. I wanted to ask them, is that a trick question? <clears throat> but what was what was funny about it is, like I had shown you guys earlier in a previous video, that I actually do own a table saw, but <laughs> It's only because I got it for free and I'm going to use it for the, uh, I wanted the one-third horse motor off of it. It's a really old table saw and not, probably not very safe. But I wouldn't use it for that anyway. In fact, I told him he could have it if he wanted it. And he was just curious as to how I cut things. <laughs> like. He's like, so if you have to rip a board in half, or you have to, you know, cut a board or something, what do you do? Just use a handsaw? Well, have you not watched my videos? <laughs> yes, Brad, I use a handsaw. 
It's not as hard as everybody makes it out to be. It just takes patience. And it gets you away from things that you don't want to be thinking about for longer than if you use a power saw. <laughs> Helps you cope with things a little longer. If you catch my drift. Gains! That was for Brad. Okay. So we're done. We are done cutting. Cutting. Let's get the chips out. Won't need the saw anymore, so I'll put her away. <clears throat> so now. I really just want to bust that off just like I did the last one and move on with it. But, I don't know, we'll see in a second. I gotta clean up first because I can't, unfortunately cannot work with all the saw dust all over the ground. So it makes it too slick. Jaw horse out of the way. And I got to do this all the time on this floor. Not exactly my choice. No. We need to clean the shop, just need to get sawdust off the floor so I can walk without slipping busting my ass. Done and back to business. Let's see what time it is. Ooh, it's almost eight o'clock. Eight o'clock is my stop time. I don't really want to stop. I did get this cut laid out. Got this cut. <clears throat> this edge cut. Got these two cut. And I just got to knock that out, plane this down. Let's go ahead and plane this down while I contemplate whether or not to it's so nice having a vise right now. Even though it's not exactly what I want. <clears throat> it is a whole lot better than what I had. was nothing. And you can see the line. That's the good thing about the knife mark is you can you really don't even have to check it. You just plane down to the to the knife wall that you gave yourself. And that is that. Let's 
Paul would say, it cannot not be square. I hate that chatter, but I don't have anything, any other way to clamp this. Well, I guess I do, but it's not going to be any better. See if a different angle helps this. Almost there. Being cramped doesn't help a whole lot. I'm getting there. I'm almost there. This shatter's kind of working itself out a little bit. Seen off a nice shaving. No. There, except for right here. That's it. Just give it a decent little sanding. Get those chatter marks out. Maybe I'll leave a few of them chatter marks in just for posterity. Is that right? She wrote it on that. <clears throat> Frankly, I don't feel like getting out my drill. I want it's just time that I don't have, so. and chop this out. <laughs> well, I'm just going to do what I need to do. I'm going to stop right here and we'll drill it and we'll do it tomorrow. 45 minutes, man. You'd think I'd get faster over the years, but it is what it is. Either you like it or you don't. We got some we got some good progress on the vice shop though. We'll get it chopped out tomorrow and mounted. That'll be easy. And hopefully 
uh, maybe at least get started laying out for the dog holes. That's the goal anyway. Friends and family, I love you. Everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow night.